Hello and welcome to another Fraser tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be going over how to set up Hosted Fraser on your Apple computer. Hosted Fraser is an optional product that lets you access Fraser anywhere you have an internet connection via an Amazon hosted server. For more information, give us a call at 888-963-5369. To get started, let's go to the Apple App Store and search for Microsoft Remote Desktop. Once you locate this app, go ahead and install it and open that up. When it opens, go ahead and click on the Remote Resources tab on the top. In here, you can enter in all the information necessary to get Fraser properly linked up. In the section titled URL, you can go ahead and type in the URL for your hosted Fraser server. This should be included in the information emailed to you. It would look something like this. Next, you can go ahead and enter in the username, but make sure that you type in my Fraser and a backslash first, or this won't work properly. Lastly, you can go ahead and type in your password and then press the refresh button on the bottom. If you see a message that comes up that says the certificate cannot be verified, this is normal and you can go ahead and press continue. Once the remote resources screen has the text on the bottom that says successfully loaded remote resources, you can close out of this screen and you should be able to double click on Fraser now. Before opening Fraser, it should pop up a window asking you to make sure you trust the connection but this should be fine. You can go ahead and make sure that both of the boxes towards the bottom for clipboard and printers are selected. This will make it so anything you copy from your Mac can be pasted directly into Fraser and any printers you have installed on your Mac are pushed over to your hosted server so you can connect them in Fraser as well. Also, if it asks for a folder to share, go ahead and use this one as entered below. After that, you can check the box to not ask again if you don't need to change these options every time you sign in, and you can press connect. Fraser should open up, and then it's business as usual. This has been a quick overview on setting up hosted Fraser for your Mac. For more information, check out some of our other tutorials, and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with any new tutorials. And, as always, thank you for using Fraser.